So here's, here's a problem or what we think the problem is, right? There is a puddle of water on the floor. Why is that? Well, the overhead pipe is leaking. Now you could stop there, right? Many times we do, we say water on the ground, a pipe is leaking up there. We need to, we need to replace the pipe. Now let's keep that thought in mind. If, if we assume that that was the problem, what if we keep going? I know there's some engineers on the, on the line here. And so they can, they, they do this all the time. The next question would be, you know, the, the overhead pipe is leaking. Why is it leaking, right? Well, there's too much water pressure in the pipe. Whoa, that changes the situation. Why is there too much pressure? Because there's a faulty valve. Why is there a faulty valve? Control valves have not been tested. All right. So the root cause is that our control valves are not on the maintenance schedule. We need to get them properly tested. What if we would have just spent money? Remember, we talked about if we don't diagnose the problem properly, if we spent money, we spent resources, we wasted the time of our, our maintenance person to just go ahead and replace a pipe. They turned it back on and it's still leaking. We still have the same problem, right? Instead, we get to that root cause. We save time. We save money. We, we get the valves tested. We get them right where they need to be. No more leaky pipes. So that's how this, this process of the five whys can, um, can help you out. And I'll, I'll give you one example for myself. So you can use it on problems or with opportunities. Maybe, maybe you kind of randomly hit success. You know, you, you, you figure something out and you go, you know what, that worked out really well. I'd like to know how I did that, right? I'll tell you, just full disclosure for myself with this group, I, I was perfectly happy. And I mentioned this a week ago. I was, I was thinking, man, if we get 50 people on um, this book launch team, that would be amazing. That'd be really cool to get 50 people engaged and, and ready to go on the book launch team, reading the book ahead of time, and giving me a review. We have 162 people, right? And it's like, okay, so how, how did this happen? So I asked the question, um, I, you know, I, I made the statement to myself, I was just driving down the road the other day to a client and I said, this book launch team is doing really great. How do I repeat this in the future or continue it now, right? How do I continue this, this growth that we have? Um, so why is the book, the first question I asked myself is, why is the book launch team gaining so much momentum? And my response was to myself was because I have the right people in the group. And then I said, well, why are the right people or why are they the right people? And I said to myself, they're the right people because they're interested in leadership development. And I asked, well, why are they into leadership development? And I came to the conclusion that they are into leadership development because they are a leader or they aspire to be a leader. So then I asked, well, why are they leaders or why do they aspire to be a leader? And I said to myself, because they self-identified as a leader or someone told them that they have leadership abilities. And I thought, well, why would someone tell them that they are a leader or why would someone self-identify as a leader? And I came to the conclusion that it's because they had a, a outstanding natural skills or they were focused on personal growth and developing themselves. <clears throat> so five whys there. And I came to the conclusion that really at the root, the people that I'm looking for are people that are interested in developing themselves. Now you might say, well, that's not complicated. Okay, I don't care. It's not very complicated. But what I did with that information is I started looking on Facebook into other groups of people that are interested in self-development. And I invited them to, to participate in our book launch. And what do you know? We've had at least 10 more people just this week join the book launch team because I just asked in these various groups, hey, would you be interested? I see that you're into personal growth and development. Is this something you'd be interested in? And so that's how you can use this process. And uh, yes, yay, yay. Um, that's how you can use this process to really find out how and take advantage of opportunities that you've had or success that you've experienced and figure out how did I experience that so that I can repeat it over again. So that